good morning good afternoon and good evening everyone so today i got poco x3 nfc and uh, i will show how to flash the uh, official line age operating system version 20 and android version 13 on poco x3 nfc and you can also flash this rom on poco x3 the india variant first is to unlock the bootloader of the mobile phone if you don't know how to unlock the bootloader i will leave the link a uh, tutorial video link in my video description down there you can watch that tutorial video unlock the bootloader first then you can flash the custom rom as far you are using a customized rom on the mobile phone the bootloader will remain unlocked i will show show how to make the devices certified also and how to get the safety net pass also in case if you are finding my videos are helpful then you can appreciate me by subscribing my channel click or tap the bell icon click or tap the select all thank you so much all the links are provided in my video description just make a new folder and download these files this particular gap application can be installed on line h rom do not attempt to flash the any other gaps application this is the official line h website i will suggest to go for the latest rom just download two files from here that the line h rom by clicking here and the recovery file of line age by clicking here click the guides and info if you want to know more about this flashing procedure read the basic requirements and you can see that firmware which is required is particular 13.0.4 the europe region rom and uh, link provided if you click the link this uh, web uh, site will get open where we can download the firmware file so this is the file the firmware file you can click the download here and the rom will get started and the firmware will get started on downloading the mind the gaps here it is click it and download the rest all files links are provided the flash firmware batch file the platform tools and safety net first of all extract the from your file over here then extract the platform tools file over here and uh, copy the flash firmware file from here open the extracted firmware folder open the firmware update folder and paste that file over here now go back to the main downloaded folder open the platform tools extracted folder copy all files from here Go back, open the firmware folder, extracted folder, then uh, open the firmware update folder, paste all that files over here, done. Now go back to the main downloaded folder and copy these files. First the line h rom file, the root images file, mind the gaps file and recovery image file. Copy these files from here, then open the extracted platform tools folder and paste all the files over here. When the, it is done, then we need to rename few files here. First of all, click on the ROM file, the line H ROM file, then press F2 on keyboard, erase all the file name, then type ROM and press enter then rename the magis root file press uh, uh, first click on it then press f2 and erase each and everything then type r o t dot z i p yes we need to change the extension also from apk to z i p then press enter and click yes on this window the root file magis dot apk is uh, renamed root.zip now come to the mind the gaps click on it press f2 and erase and type g a double p s press enter okay go back to the downloaded folder then uh, double click to open the firmware folder then double click firmware update folder and moving towards the mobile phone now so your mobile must be on latest miui 14 rom like i have miui 14.0.21 and your set must be having 14.0.2 whatever miui version you have doesn't matter because we will downgrade me from miui 14 to miui 13 and one more thing that i as uh, i have mentioned before that the bootloader must be unlocked 
now go back first of all must save all the internal storage data this flushing procedure will format everything check the battery should be charged to maximum like uh, 50 to 60 or 70 percent then go to settings and go to uh, the password security and turn off the lo screen lock then Go to the me account in case if you are using a me account sync your me account once must remove it go back sync your google account once must remove it well you have done all these things and if your set bootloader is already unlocked then power off the mobile phone this procedure requires a data cable and use a good quality of data cable and check the other side of cable must be connected with computer now mobile phone must be power off we need to boot the mobile phone into fast boot mode for that press and hold the volume down key connect the cable with mobile phone in few seconds you will see the fast boot screen on your mobile phone release the volume down key then set is booted into fast boot mode now and also connect it with computer coming back towards the computer screen i am already in the firmware update folder 13.0.4 i have copied the flash firmware batch files already double click on it the flashing will get started the particular miui 13 rom will get started this is just the firmware and when it is done you will see the set will reboot once to the bootloader once again now i will go back to my downloaded folder then i will open the the extracted folder of platform tools right click the cmd then left click on the run as administrator click yes on next window the command window will get open now we have to flash the recovery the line h recovery file for that type the command fastboot space flash space recovery space recovery dot img press enter recovery file will get started flashing and it will be done soon okay now boot the recovery for that type the command fast boot space boot space recovery dot img press enter key mobile phone will boot soon into lineage recovery just wait and look to the mobile phone it will take a little time over here and yes the recovery screen appears on the mobile phone now for the first time after when you see the lineage recovery or fire recovery on your mobile phone so the touch is not working because this recovery requires the manual buttons recovery get flash then press the down key and select the factory reset then press power key then already selected format data yes press power key and press volume down key to select format data press power key yes it is done then go down select format cache partition press power key select yes then press power key then go down and select format system partition and press power key select yes press power key done yes then uh, press the volume up key to select the back arrow key and press the power to go back to the main recovery screen now press the volume down key select the advanced power key and select reboot to recovery power key let the set boot into recovery again finally the recovery is back once again now press the power uh, volume down key select the apply update press the power key and uh, app apply apply from adb is already selected press power key and finally the mobile phone is booted into side load mode coming back towards the computer screen now start flashing the rom for that type the command adb space site load space rom dot z i p press enter key rom will start flashing you can see on your mobile phone now it will take a time just wait for it when rom flashing completed 
definitely you will see that install completed with status zero which means that rom flash very successfully now press the volume down key select the advanced press power key then go and select the reboot to recovery press power key let the set boot into recovery once again okay now press the volume down key select apply update then press the power key and uh, on the apply update apply from adb already selected press the power key the set is once again booted into adb side load mode coming back towards the computer screen now flash the gaps file for that uh, type command adb space side load space g a w p s dot z i p press enter key the gaps flashing will get started here you can see press the volume down key to select the yes and then press power key and uh, the further flashing procedure will get start okay you can see install completed with status zero now press the volume down key go back to the advance and then press power key then go back to reboot to recovery select reboot to recovery and press power key so the set will reboot and boot into recovery once again and this time press the volume down key select the apply update press the power key apply from adb yes and press power key now coming back towards the computer screen once again now we have to root the mobile phone also in case if you do not want to root the set you can simply uh, select the reboot like it was on the first screen and then press power key the set will start booting into line h rom but if you want to make your device is certified and you want to pass the safety net then you must root the mobile phone now for routing type the command adb site load space root dot z i p press enter key again press the volume down key select yes and press power key okay done and once again you can see install completed with status zero reboot system is already selected then press the power key to reboot the mobile phone this time mobile phone will start booting into line h rom you can close the command window and you can go back to the downloaded folder and you can delete the firmware extracted folder and the platform tools extracted folder right wait for it let the set boot then we will continue as you can see set is already started booting complete the setup screen here you can see that if you want to update the rom so you must update the lineage recovery also for that like if you want to keep the rom on your mobile phone for getting updates then you have to put a check sign here then you can tap next finally rom got flash very well we'll go to settings so let me go to display and to turn off the dark mode and we'll go to about phone and here you can see that Android 13 line h if i tap on Android 13 here you can see that in white version 13 line h operating system version still it is nightly and this is your official rom pull down the notification bar and tap the charging the device tap here to change the function and select the file transfer the internal storage will get appears on your computer screen because the mobile the data is still connected with the mobile phone here we go i can see the internal storage on my computer screen i will go to my downloaded folder and i will copy the magis.apk file from here i don't have to change the name this time and will go back to my internal storage of, of my mobile phone and will paste the file on internal storage done go back to the downloaded folder and copy the safety net fix file the zip file from here and paste that file also on the mobile phone internal storage done we are done from the computer and we are done from the data cable disconnect the data cable from mobile phone now go to the menu and uh, tap select open the file section and uh, install the magis application first 
done and now go back then you will see the magis app appears on your desktop tap to open the magisk every time if you open the magis application this thing will come up so just cancel it tap the module section over here and select install from storage tap to the recent and select the poco x3 nfc storage scroll down this time install the safety net fix tap to select the file and it will ask etc etc just tap ok the installation will get started it will be done then tap reboot so after mobile phone when booted once again magis is done and we have uh, installed the safety net just tap to magis application once again to open it and again it will ask for required etc etc tap cancel now tap the settings on the top then scroll down and turn on the Zygisk. Must turn on it. Then go back and go to the settings. We have to do one more thing which is very important. Tap apps and then tap see all 23 apps whatever you see. Then tap the three dots here and uh, tap show system. And search for P l e y first tap google play store then tap storage and cache and tap clear storage delete done go back go back again search for play p l e y this time tap select google google play services then st select storage and cache and tap select manage space and clear all data tap ok done minimize just reboot your mobile once unlock the screen and you can simply log in your uh, gmail account and simply use your uh, play store you can download the yas uh, search for that application on the play store download it and you can check your uh, mobile phone safety net will get passed also check your play store the device will be certified so the fly rom got for got flash very well and i hope you got helped by this video do not forget to like the video also do not forget to subscribe my channel we'll see you in my next video until then goodbye